All right, so that's the last time I've ever taken four days off uploading. I'm not gonna lie to you, like, I've been pretty sick and like I haven't been able to form sentences really just because I've been coughing a lot. But we're finally back with, I mean, the Akron Zips. Like this team, okay, we won our last game. You know, we went, created our offensive coordinator, of course, only playing offense, the kid from Akron, AK LeBron James. But, you know, we go at home, we win against FCS East, I think it was, and we're 1 0. For the first time in a million years, the Akron Zips have started their season 1 0. And because of that, we decided, you know what? We're gonna go and we're gonna start recruiting some five-star recruits. Guys wanna go to Florida, Georgia, FSU, Ohio State, no. They are going to come to play football for the Akron Zips. And you see all these recruiting battles like Trey Parker, a quarterback who wants to go play for Marshall or, or Miami of Ohio. No, we are the best team in Ohio and we're gonna prove it tonight because the Akron Zips are going to Columbus. We're taking on the Ohio State Buckeyes, the Ohio State Buckeyes, and we're gonna go there. We're gonna go into Columbus and we're gonna go kick their ass because we're the best team in Ohio. I mean, I, I don't wanna hear it. No Cincinnati, no Miami of Ohio, no Ohio, no, of course, Ohio State state no toledo no akron is the team to beat in ohio so we're gonna go in here you know guys like kevin ellis the guy who wants to go to middle tennessee we are going to try to out recruit some of these schools even in northern illinois you know close to us of course illinois ohio but we're gonna try to keep recruiting some of these guys i didn't realize i didn't put a single offensive lineman on my recruiting board so that's a little bit concerning but like hey we might be able to get a guy in barry lee who's a juco recruit 65 overall dn pat randolph's another juco guy i'm looking at clark davis who wants to look at ohio oh, i forgot about kent state another ohio school if i'm not mistaken bowling green i don't think so. oh no bowling green i think so in ohio I'm not from Ohio, but I'm pretty sure it is. Anyways, look at a guy like Eric Tyree trying to get him away from the other Ohio schools in Ohio, Cincinnati, and Kent State. Um, really, again, only in Ohio, we are trying to become the greatest Ohio school in the country, at least until we leave. Because of course, this is where we start as the O coordinator at Ohio State, or not, I wish I was at Ohio State, at um, Akron it is the lowest point possible to start your career. And Leonard Long's a guy, by the way, athlete who currently wants to go to Ball State. Really think we can make a push to get him. He's a guy who actually had interest we didn't even have to push to get him he's he's the guy who showed interest in us and of course like i'm not not interested so i'm gonna go after him and try to bring him onto the team but this is the lowest starting point i mean you can possibly be in we are here playing number three ohio state the zips prepare for their toughest road challenge yet of course lee corso thinks ohio state's gonna win i wonder why i mean hey we are one and oh though ohio state though last week went out and blow blew out uh buffalo 47 to nothing we beat fcs east 42 to 10 so hey we had a good game in our own right of course we're taking on ohio state we will play Play Buffalo next week, so there's that. They just lost 47 nothing. Then we get Bowling Green, Ohio, NIU, Miami of Ohio, Western Kentucky, all those squads after that. But welcome to Columbus. Welcome to Buckeye Stadium here in Ohio. Um, yeah, you know, hey, we have a we have a chance to score points. I think. I think, honest to God. Hey, we come into this game with the ninth ranked passing offense, the 12th ranked rushing offense. Ohio State's won with the rushing offense. Of course, they have got one of the Heisman hopefuls this year in CJ Stroud. He's gonna be a really high draft pick in the NFL draft in a couple years. But we have our guy in DJ Irons, you know, hey, big prospect, I guess. He's still a junior. We've got Shockey Jacques-Louis, the former Pittsburgh Panther, as well as our lead receiver too. Akron trying to make a statement here tonight on the road at Columbus. Seriously, if we can put up 14 points, I will be really happy that's all i care about you know ohio state very good football program they're a dominant squad look at them but i think we should be able to put up some points here tonight hopefully the defense can do something against the boys over there cj stroud marvin harrison jackson smith and jigba we'll see what happens but folks if you haven't yet make sure that subscribe button down below for some more college football revamp here on the channel again took a four-day break or a three-day break here on youtube that's not happening again i'm not sick anymore don't got the flu we're gonna keep it going here with the akron zips byu should be coming up pretty soon as well but here you go might be our only win in the game the coin toss oh we've done it first win of the night let's go baby akron wins the coin toss we want the ball and we are going to score shout out matt hasselback give me the damn football let's get it going out the gun dj irons right away can't forget about norrell's our lead back and here you go on first and ten akron runs the read option it's gonna be a handoff look at norrell's go oh my goodness he's got a first down move the sticks for john zell norrell's he has 18 yards already on his first carry in 55 last week. Give it back to Norrells. Okay. See, 
Okay, it's fine. Second and 11. Irons gonna throw the football for the first time tonight. Looking to his left. Shocky Jock Louis. Not gonna get it to him. It'll be a third and 11 now for the Zips. Out the gun. Irons trying to pick up the first down. Dropping back. DJ Irons over the middle. Incomplete. All right, Cameron Brown on the deflection. It's fine. We got a first down. It's one more than I thought we were going to get. Unfortunately for us, we don't play defense, and Ohio State goes right down the field, and they score. But we have the football back, and look at DJ Irons. Oh, yeah, gain of six. He had 168 last week. Third and seven. We're going to go middle screen here. Irons looking. That's not... Okay, well, somehow we get it caught, but, like, that's not how a middle screen's supposed to work. He's supposed to be kind of, like, wide open on the screen. Yeah, okay. Ohio State gets the football back. They score, but like, you know, every first play we have in a drive, looking pretty good. Seven yard gain for Norris right there. Third and one, we run quarterback sneak. DJ Irons, boom, he got it. Move the sticks. Yeah, Zippy's happy. You know, Zippy's a woman. Apparently she is. So Zippy the mascot's happy. Second and 11 for Irons. Shocky, shock, we it's batted down. Okay, third and 11. I don't feel too great about this. Let's go, DJ. Dropping back. Going to his right. Look at Irons. Looking. Oh, yeah, on the run. Oh, my goodness. He gets it. Big first down from the Akron Zips. It's going to be Jalen Knight on the grab. A 35-yard gain on the Ohio State University. It'll be a first and 10. Irons speed option. He's going to run right by him. Okay, he'll pitch it to Norrells. Okay, we'll take it. Hey, gain of five. They're going to say it's a pass. I don't think it is, but it's all right. Third and three, let's go. DJ Irons dropping back, trying to get in the red zone here. Got him. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That's why That's why Buddy does not go to Ohio State. He goes to Akron. Hey, we scored, though. It's three to 14. Now, Irons taking a shot. Give it back to Grimes. Oh, my goodness. Like, Grimes the guy. If you can get the football in his hands, he's a really good football player. The problem is... He's not good enough to be a running back, so you got to play him at receiver. He's not good enough on defense, so you can't play him at corner. You'll want to get the ball in his hands on offense, but you can't catch the football. My guy right there can't catch the football either at night. So we punt the football back to Ohio State. They score. We're down by 18, but there you go. Our tight end, Tristan Brank, for a gain of eight right there on the drag route. I right, will take it. Third and five. Here comes Irons dropping back to his left. Oh, my goodness. Shocky Jock. Louis, got to catch the football, dude. Uh, so we're going to punt. We're going to have the football back, though. They don't score, so a third and ten. Irons to his left. Got him, man. Shocky Jock Louis. There you go. He's experienced in big games coming from Pitt. He's going to catch that one. Gain a 19. Move the sticks for Akron. Look at Irons down to first and ten. Booting it to his right. Is he going to run? Look at DJ Irons. Yes, sir. Okay. Gain a six right there for DJ. We'll take it. It'll be a third and four. 45 seconds. Irons to his right. Looking. He's going to throw. He gets it to Grimes again. You'll want to get the football in this man's hands. Once he gets it, he can move. Tony Grimes for a gain of 23. Moving the sticks again for Akron. His first catch of the game is a big one. First and 10 from the 10. 30 seconds ago. Irons to his right. Looking to run. He will. Can he get in there? Irons. Uh, okay. Oh, he's going to get the first. All right. First and goal for Akron. DJ Irons, unfortunately, going to get injured on the play. So we got to bring him the backup quarterback who's really just a running back in Wiley. But Wiley's short. Cam Wiley will lose one yard. It'll be a third and goal now for Akron. Wiley from under center is going to look to run. He'll just sprint out to his right. He's in there. Cameron Wiley with a two-yard touchdown run. He's a 40 overall quarterback, but he can play running back as well, and he can run the football. So big play right there for Akron. It's 10 to 28 though, unfortunately, because Ohio State has score to start this second half. But thankfully for us, DJ Irons is back in the football game. Unfortunately for us though, Irons is just gonna go right down. Uh, yeah, he'll lose three yards. I mean, we're only down by 18. Like second and 13, Irons dropping back, looking to throw right up the middle. There you go. There goes Norrells again, who is having a monster game on the road here in Columbus. Gain at 12, set up for a third and one for Akron. We're going to go triple option, give it to Brank. Unfortunately, Brank cannot get the first down, so fourth and one, we're going to go for it, because why not? Irons, handoff, give it to Norrells again. Look at Norrells, man. He's really playing his way towards a transfer opportunity, probably to like Cincy next year. Let's be honest with ourselves. Eight carries, 43 yards, pretty good against the number three team in the country. And look at Irons, okay... I mean, it was a third and 20. Try to get it to Shockey Jacques Louis. It's going to be incomplete. Irons is 10 for 18 for 103 passing yards. We'll get the football back on a second and eight. Irons looking to throw over the middle. There will be the backup running back with the grab. Anthony Williams Jr. Gain of nine for the Zips. First and 10 here for Irons in Ohio State territory. Still an 18-point game. There you go. Giving it back to Tony Grimes. We said it earlier. You get the ball in his hands. Good things can happen again, though. The big F. Can you get the ball in his hands? First and 10, though. Irons. Oh, goodness. Looking for Knight, that one's going to be picked off, and that probably does it for any hope of winning tonight for the Akron Zips. I mean, still 18-point game. The defense doing their job right now against 
CJ Stroud and the guys, but we're going to try to force it to Shockey Jock Louis. Unfortunately, no, the Buckeyes is going to pick that one off. Um, okay, now officially we have no chance of winning this football game. But let's be honest, a lot more competitive than I thought, even though Ohio State's going to add on a touchdown, so it's 35-10. Iron's looking to throw to his right. Oh, he's going to overshoot Adams by a pretty wide margin. Ohio State with their third interception in three consecutive drives. And it's not going to make the score look very good. Let's be honest with ourselves. This was a very competitive football game. We're only going to lose it by 39 points. I mean, really, we should have only lost the game by 18, 25 max. Wiley comes in the game at the end. He'll, oh, my goodness. I mean, he rips off a really nice run, but he fumbles it at the end. It'll be our fourth turnover in the second half, which is not ideal. Six seconds left, though. Maybe we, we can make a comeback. But you know what? Unfortunately, uh, college football revamped will not allow me to make a comeback. See... Okay, I thought there was the potential, you know, for us to come back in this football game. Obviously, that's not happening. Um, but you, no, you never get, you'll never know now because it was, it was only 39 points with six seconds. I'm just saying, you know, I've seen crazier things. So, you know, uh, we'll say we'll lose the game, but like in our hearts though, we technically didn't lose, just saying. Come back next week, take it on Buffalo. They suck, so hopefully we can come back and uh, start the season two and one. Folks, thank you for watching. Make sure that subscribe button down below for more. Make sure you leave a like if you are enjoying the Akron Zip so far. Give a thank you for watching. And Mamba, forever.